breaking news in the world of OpenAI. Social media is buzzing with fresh drama but not quite the type we're used to. This time, it's not OpenAI stirring the pot directly, but rather some eyebrow-raising claims from publications like The Verge, suggesting that OpenAI is gearing up to release a groundbreaking new model by December. This model, rumored to be codenamed Orion, would mark a massive milestone its release potentially timed for the two-year anniversary of ChatGPT. Now, here's where things get particularly interesting. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, actually took a moment to address the rumors directly something we don't often see CEOs of multi-billion dollar companies doing, unless of course we're talking about Elon Musk. Altman stepping into the conversation has added a new layer to the intrigue. Before we dive into Sam Altman's response, let's break down The Verge's claims and see what might be fact and what might be fiction about OpenAI's secretive model, Orion. Now, this particular report is a bit unusual because The Verge isn't exactly a go-to source when it comes to the latest in AI. For that, I typically turn to the big three Reuters, Bloomberg, and the information. Reuters, for example, set the standard with its early scoop on the infamous strawberry drama they had everyone guessing if the story was legit, sparking a frenzy that proved their credibility. Then there's Bloomberg, which keeps us informed on major developments like GPT-4 and OpenAI's newest features, and the information which has a solid track record on insider AI updates. So, seeing The Verge jumping into the AI arena, it raises a skeptical eyebrow. While I'm not saying they're wrong, it makes me wonder if every detail is on target. Now here's the real twist. The Verge claims that, unlike OpenAI's last releases, Orion won't debut directly through ChatGPT. Instead, sources say that OpenAI plans to give early access to a select few companies, allowing them to integrate Orion into their own products before a broader rollout. If true, this could signal a major shift in OpenAI's strategy for launching its next big model. Before we dive any deeper, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share this video for all the latest updates in the world of AI. Now, here's where things get even juicier. Has OpenAI ever partnered with companies to help them distribute a model before? Not really, but the fact that they might be doing so this time suggests one thing Orion could be extremely powerful. Sure, OpenAI is all about wide-reaching distribution and, naturally, the revenue that comes with it. So why wouldn't they launch it straight to the public for maximum impact? One possibility is safety. If Orion truly pushes the limits, OpenAI might want more control over its early phase, avoiding public release to limit potential risks. With powerful models, safety testing isn't just a box to check its illegal shield. Rushing an untested model to market could expose them to serious risks. And let's be real, OpenAI is already navigating several lawsuits. Then there's the Verge scoop that engineers at Microsoft, OpenAI's key deployment partner, are gearing up to host Orion on Azure as early as November. The internal chatter seems to suggest that Orion is a next-gen version of GPT-4, basically GPT-5 in all but name. Whether it'll be branded as GPT-5 to the public remains to be seen, but a November release? That's right around the corner, folks. Of course, the release plan could change it always can with cutting-edge tech. And while OpenAI and Microsoft have remained tight-lipped, the fact that The Verge says Microsoft is preparing for launch this soon is huge. With only days left in October, November and Orion's potential release are just around the corner. Now, Orion isn't exactly coming out of nowhere. We've seen hints dropped here and there, with whispers from Sam Altman himself and a few industry insiders teasing what's to come. But this time, I'm starting to think the info might be legit. Why? Because deploying a model at this scale isn't as simple as click and go. Launching something as powerful as Orion requires a serious network of servers and a huge amount of compute power. OpenAI has been pretty vocal about their ongoing struggle to secure enough compute, even with a powerhouse like Microsoft. In fact, OpenAI has recently started turning to other companies to meet their massive compute demands, showing just how big of an endeavor Orion might be. This isn't just any model, it's a model that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible and OpenAI is racing to get the resources to make it happen. So is The Verge's info on Orion totally out of left field? Not necessarily. OpenAI is likely still ramping up compute capacity, so the whispers about Orion's debut and even the name itself aren't completely off. Plus, we've seen subtle hints from Sam Altman breadcrumbs drop just enough to keep us guessing. Now, here's where things get a little wild. Sam Altman recently fired back about fake news being out of control, which is almost a nod to how outlandish some of these Orion rumors are becoming. According to one executive at OpenAI, Orion is rumored to be a hundred times more powerful than GPT-4. But what does that even mean? Are we talking about a hundred times more parameters, 
a hundred times more complex reasoning, or some leap in intelligence we can't even quantify yet. But let's be real a model that's a hundred times more powerful. Given recent model upgrades, that sounds like a bit of a stretch. Sure, I might call it an exaggeration, but we shouldn't forget that Sam Altman himself mentioned in an interview that the leap from GPT-4 to GPT-5 will likely be more incremental. So while Orion may bring big improvements, we might not be looking at a colossal jump just yet. That we can just do something and we can say right now, with a high degree of scientific certainty, GPT-5 is going to be smarter than, a lot smarter than GPT-4, GPT-6 is going to be a lot smarter than GPT-5, and we are not near the top of this curve and we kind of know what, know what to do. And this is not like it's going to get better in one area. This is not like we're going to, you know, it's not that it's always going to get better at this eval or this subject or this modality. It's just going to be smarter in the general sense. Now, if Orion is truly set to be the successor to GPT-4, and we're talking about a model rumored to be a hundred times more powerful, well, the possibilities are almost beyond imagination. What's also intriguing and absolutely true is that Orion is separate from OpenAI's O1 reasoning model released back in September. For those unfamiliar, O1 is a specialized model designed as a foundational layer for agent-based systems, allowing AI to tackle problems in a step-by-step, logic-driven way. This type of reasoning model is in its own class, as confirmed in OpenAI's recent broadcast, where they discussed its purpose and future. So are we on the verge of seeing a model a hundred times more powerful than GPT-4? I'd lean toward probably not, but this is OpenAI, a company known for pushing boundaries and surprising us with breakthroughs. Remember Sora? And the shock we all felt with GPT-4's release? Or even advanced voice mode which brought new levels of interaction. With OpenAI, the impossible often turns out to be just one breakthrough away. So while a 100x leap might sound like sci-fi given OpenAI's track record, it's hard to completely rule out the potential for something extraordinary. Let's talk about the model on everyone's lips Orion. This name has been swirling through industry circles for months, and its backstory just got a little more interesting. The Information, a highly trusted source for tech developments, dropped a bombshell about a month ago, revealing that OpenAI had shown something called Strawberry AI to the feds, apparently. Strawberry is a key ingredient in developing Orion. This article was a jaw-dropper because, until then, we had no solid details on what Strawberry even was. But after some sleuthing, a few determined folks pieced together theories from research papers. And, impressively, many of those theories are turning out to be spot on. According to the information, Strawberry's primary role is to generate top-tier training data for Orion, OpenAI's next major model. This detail confirms that Orion is well into development, but the codename hadn't leaked until now. Interestingly, someone pointed out a trend tech giants like Google, Amazon, and OpenAI seem to have a thing for Greek mythology when naming their models think of Google's Gemini. And sure, I can see the allure it's a pretty fitting choice for models with godlike capabilities. So what's next with Orion? If Strawberry's training power is as potent as it sounds, we might be on the brink of something monumental. It's possible that the full release of O1 has been delayed because it's still playing a crucial role in training Orion. Maybe once Orion's development is wrapped up and no further tweaks are needed, OpenAI will finally release the complete version of O1 to the public. Until then, Orion is likely undergoing extensive safety testing. What's particularly interesting is that Strawberry also referred to as the O1 preview model has been used to help reduce Orion's hallucinations and errors. Researchers say that by feeding Orion data filled with accurate examples of complex reasoning, the model can learn to perform with greater accuracy. And this brings us back to why the information is such a valuable source they revealed that OpenAI was working to simplify and streamline Strawberry through a technique called distillation making it fit for a chat-based product before Orion's launch. The result? A smaller version of O1 that we're currently seeing in action. This early release isn't just a strategic move to get a head start on the competition but also a stepping stone for Orion, ensuring OpenAI has the edge in a fast-paced market where everyone's vying for the best AI model. For anyone doubting whether Orion is pure speculation, let me clarify Sam Altman himself tweeted a cryptic hint that, when run through ChatGPT, actually suggests it's referring to Orion. But there's another player in the game of AI predictions, the legendary Jimmy Apples, who recently nailed his prediction on Anthropic's latest release. Jimmy, known for his eerily accurate takes, speculated that a 4X model, possibly GPT-4.5, could hit in October, with the next major model GPT-5 possibly arriving as early as December. However, he tempered expectations by saying to watch for Q1 or Q2 of 2025. 
Here's my theory OpenAI may have originally aimed for these dates, but as they watched the competition, they might have reconsidered. With O1 preview already setting the bar and reasoning benchmarks, OpenAI has a distinct edge. Right now, O1 outshines anything on the market in many reasoning categories, so it wouldn't be surprising if they're letting it dominate for a while before unveiling something even more game-changing. So when it comes to choosing one of these models, there's plenty of power in simply sticking with O1 preview or GPT-4.0-- they do the job with ease. And that's probably why OpenAI doesn't feel much pressure right now. But here's the game changer Google's Gemini 2 is right around the corner, and the buzz is that it's poised to set new standards in both performance and reasoning abilities. Personally, I don't think OpenAI will need to release anything groundbreaking until the competition catches up. That said, of course, I could be completely wrong. We've seen recent developments with GPT's Canvas and the O1 preview update, which are strong indicators OpenAI is still leading the pack. Let's not forget the last real shockwave they felt was when Claude 3.5 Sonnet burst onto the scene, unexpectedly outclassing GPT-4 in coding. But here's my question what part of the latest rumors do you think could be fake? Some people suggest that certain companies are getting early access to OpenAI's tech to integrate it into their products. That part doesn't sound far-fetched to me OpenAI has a history of close collaborations, as a quick look through their stories page shows. Now, if we're talking about a model 100 times more powerful than GPT-4, that's a whole new level of mind-blowing. If true, it could redefine our expectations for AI, pushing us closer to AGI, and possibly sparking fresh speculation on what's next. One thing that sounds plausible, the claim that Orion is being trained on Strawberry's synthetic data. And as far as new models go, it's highly likely OpenAI has another release lined up, possibly within the next two months, or, according to industry talk from Jimmy Apples, by Q2 of 2025 at the latest. To wrap it up, I'll leave you with Sam Altman's recent tweet, fake news is out of control, but what's your take? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what might be real, and what's just noise in the AI rumor mill.